I had um, I had a chance to be going to a residential school, but um, while we're out hunting, the plane was already leaving, picking up um, the children from each camp to go to residential school. So, <sighs> didn't make it to residential, which is great. <laughs> My name is Shirley Hatawana. I'll be 61 in a couple of months. I was taught how to behave and how to how to um, be out on the land. When I was growing up as a little young girl, I was. Um, brought up how to hunt. I used to go um, bird hunting and uh, we would catch maybe about five little birds and we'd bring them home and cook them and feed the family. During springtime I would be out duck hunting or either ice fishing, uh, running around playing tag while we're, while we're traveling. Would be, we used to dr travel by dog team, so it used to take a while to get there. Uh, back then, we didn't have any TVs, remote control games, no iPods. And, you know, we were just there for, um, to, uh, prepare meat for the winter. My mother would teach me how to skin the caribou first and um, during the summer they would catch quite a few caribou and we would make uh, dry meat and also how to use the bones and the skins we would caribou skins we would make parkas, politaks, kakaliks, gummies and also bollocks. We would be out caribou hunting for the whole summer and prepare meat and we would cache it for the whole winter. I enjoy being outdoors and teaching other, the children what I have learned from my grandparents, my parents. I would um, advise the children to listen to the elders and respect the elders and the, the land, how to respect other people and how to listen to elders and try and follow the culture.